solving a distance rate time problem using a system of linear equations. A motorboat travels 120 kilometers in four hours going upstream. It travels 232 kilometers going downstream in the same amount of time. What is the rate of the boat in still water and what is the rate of the current? Um, so on this one here, I'm going to use a system of equations. Okay, so first I'm going to do the trip upstream. Okay, and for my two variables, I'm going to use B for the boat and C for the current or the river. Okay, so when I'm going upstream, my trip is four hours long. So that means four hours that the boat is traveling and four hours that the current is pushing against it, against the boat. And at the end of the day, I tra or at the end of the four hours, I guess, I traveled 120 kilometers. Now, since these two are going in opposite directions, if you're going upstream, that means the boat is going one direction and the river is going the other direction. So since they're pushing against each other or they're going in opposite directions, we're going to subtract these two quantities. Okay. Now, when we go downstream, okay, I still have a boat, I still have the current, and let's see, uh, we're going to go 232 kilometers downstream. So this number over here is 232. Okay, and this time, let's see, it says we went 232 kilometers in the same amount of time. So I know I'm still traveling four hours in the boat and that it's going with the current for four hours, but this time, since they're going the same direction, we're gonna add those two. Now I have my system of equations, and it's set up to do elimination, so that's how I'm gonna go ahead and solve it here. So I have 4B uh, minus 4C equals 120, and then 4B plus 4C equals 232. So to do elimination, I need two equations in standard form, which I have, and I need one set of exact opposite terms, which I have. So I can go ahead and do my column addition now. That means 8B, my C's eliminate there, is equal to 120 plus 232 is going to be 352, and then divide both sides by 8. And I know B is going to be equal to 352 divided by 8, or 44. So the boat was going 44 kilometers per hour. Okay, now we need to get the rate of the current. So now I'm going to take this value that I know and plug it into either one of these original equations right here. Okay, so it, I'm going to use the bottom one just because it has addition instead of subtraction. So if I do 4 and instead of b, I need to replace it with this value. So times 44 plus 4c equals 232. Okay, 4 times 44 will give me 176 plus 4C equals 232. Okay, um, and then I'm kind of running out of space here. So I'm going to take this up here to just finish out. 176 plus 4C equals 232. Okay, 
So to get the C by itself, before I deal with the coefficient, the one attached directly to the variable, I want to get rid of any other numbers that are over there on that side. So I need to zero out that one and then balance by doing the same thing on the other side. Um, so 232 minus 176 gives me 56 over on the right, 4C on the left. Then I divide by 4, divide by 4, and the current is going 14 kilometers per hour. So my final answer, 44 kilometers per hour for the boat and 14 kilometer hours for the current.